Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're doing a 15 win championship challenge, guys. So finally, the first championship challenge of the year. Uh, it's really going to be an exciting one. There's only seven of these this time around. Every of the year has been eight. And unfortunately, it's not going to be in like the Power League draft system. It's just going to be the normal ones. So we're going to be going through all five sets, all the best combinations to use, and all the best tips and whatever else you need. So before we jump into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys. So going into the first set of the championship challenge, we have a Knockout Bells Rock. So with Knockout, it's going to be a new uh, competitive game mode never seen before in the BSC, uh, which will be really interesting. So Knockout, I'm actually kind of enjoying it a little bit especially in the draft format um, maybe not in the draft format it's a little bit stale uh, but as you can see uh, on the screen previously the best pick is going to be grom gene and daryl so all of them going to be really good with their supers with knockout you really want to play quite passive wait for your supers to charge uh, daryl you can always play super passive until we get his roll he's going to be able to get a free kill basically all the time uh, so basically you've got to try and chip away the other brawlers with uh, grom and gene they're going to be like your chip brawlers and then daryl's going to want him to be a rolling in once one of those brawlers are pretty weak but for the most part you really really want to go in if you know you're going to be able to get a kill and perhaps survive or at least your teammate able to trade out the kill uh, because it's really hard to even come back and knock out when it's like a 2v3 uh, not in your favor it can be really difficult literally just one uh, death from your side uh, can literally lose you the whole round so you can see next best picks as well there's a lot of other good options as well you always want one thrower so that's whether tick or a grom and then you want kind of one healer so like a Jean or a byron a uh, bell also really good leon can be good with his lollipop drop uh, giving you a little bit of invisibility and he's really stealthy against those long range brawlers uh, but got the likes of Stu as well he can be good with his wall break gadget and then there's a couple of assassin options as well but honestly knockout first round should be pretty easily easy as long as you don't think uh, that you can just solo 1v3 every single time it's not going to be like that you really need to pinch and uh, play really slow with your team and eventually just get uh, the enemies down but as I said, I actually kind of am liking a knockout, especially uh, with the amount of team synergy that you need. You need to be definitely playing as a team. Uh, but with this one, honestly, I don't think it's too much to really worry about. So that's going to be uh, set number one. Let's hop into set number two. All right, guys, so jumping into set number two, we have a super stadium. So as you can see on the screen, the best picks, in my opinion, are going to be gr that Grom mid with that gadget. Being able to automatically scout one of the lanes is really, really essential. And you can already just shoot over that wall to help pinch on the lane. Really insane on this map. And then you've got the likes of Daryl and Sandy. So Sandy's just going to be insane with his speed gear and just a wall peaking ability on super stadium. Always been a good option on here and one of the best brawlers here for sure can counter so many different lanes and then daryl as well just so so strong especially with his role uh, being able just to literally kill anyone once he lands on top of them and then also he's able to score really easily he's going to be your goal scorer of course without still hoot style power then the next best picks uh, honestly it's up to you who you pick in mid i've put a few options in there you've got the likes of grom Byron or B. If you're scared again, uh, facing off against tanks, then B is probably going to be your best option. B is really strong with gears right now, and especially with that slow. And with the damage gear, with the 3k shot, it's just going to be a lot of damage uh, for the enemy team to deal with. Again, if you're scared of those uh, kind of aggressive combinations, then M's can be a really good option down the lane as well as Spike. Uh, Surge is an amazing pick, uh, of course, a lot of times. Uh, got to be a well-skilled surge to actually put it off in Super Stadium, uh, but he's a really strong pick, especially if you know uh, your matchups well. And then you've got the likes of Tara as well, can be good with the gadget. And then also as well, uh, obviously, like in draft format, I'm not really used to like Pogo Double Tank uh, in this kind of uh, format, uh, but Pogo Double Tank on Super Stadium is going to be super, super strong. So if you wanted to run that and just overwhelm the enemy, uh, then the likes of Poco, Frank, Daryl is going to be an insane comp. All right, guys, so jumping into set number three, we have heist safe zone so safe zone a really good map uh, for this challenge uh, so basically what you want to be going on this map is the likes of byron and daryl it's an insane synergy in power league right now uh, especially with how strong Byron and Daryl are, especially if you synergize the roll and the Byron heals, it's just so hard to deal with Daryl. Of course, Daryl and uh, Byron are going to be the main damage dealers, and then Grom's going to be on the right hand side, and he's just going to be throwing over his bombs and, you know, just doing his normal stuff. He's just completely dominating the map. So, if you don't want to go that combination, of course, it's a little bit of a newer combination, and you might just want to go the more traditional route. So, the likes of Colt and Rico, you have Colt with a wall break, he'll break open the right hand side wall, and then Rico can just proceed to dominate down the right hand 
right-hand side is definitely a really strong pick. And then if you don't like the likes of Byron in the middle, you have got the likes of Bell and Piper. Piper a bit more of a riskier combination of well, brawler to use in the middle. So I'd rather use the likes of Bell, especially with the traps, because if you're struggling to get back that control, the traps can really help you get that control back. And then also Fang, I'm not, I know a lot of you guys are probably are not really used to Fang's mechanics, but on this map specifically, is absolutely insane. He just literally needs that one super and he can dominate so many of the meta brawlers on this map so if you're a good fang then definitely bring him out on this map he's so so strong and then some other good options as well we've got the likes of claire on the left hand lane uh, can also be a good counter to like the daryl byron synergy comp i was talking about and then the likes of meg and spike as well so yeah with safe zone as i said it's kind of up to you what kind of route you want to go uh, the only main thing well the main problem with the grom combination is that you might struggle to get damage sometimes so that's probably why i prefer the likes of the colt and rico because you only need like one team wipe or just a couple of brawlers down and then you have a colt and a rico just raining pure damage on the safe uh, so yeah with safe zone uh, basically just make sure that all of you guys don't die at the same time because that's when your enemies are going to get the most damage uh, but other than that i feel like it should be pretty plain sailing so that's going to be set number three let's hop into set number four all right guys so now jumping on to set number four we have hot zone ring of fire so with ring of fire in my opinion the best combination is going to be shock it's going to be grom and then either a bell or baron in the middle and then a meg but there's a lot of options you can pick on uh, ring of fire so grom can be a really strong option uh, but if you're scared of a lot of aggro coming out then grom may not be the best choice uh, but that's why the likes of meg and baron or bell can also counter those type of brawlers uh, but for me the strategy with ring of fire you need like one or two well basically two brawlers in the middle and then one brawler just kind of getting into their spawn constantly just chasing their enemies down and making pressure because the one mistake that a lot of people make on ring of fire is that they just go one in the middle and two down the lanes well that might be okay for control uh, but for the most part the enemy is just going to run down the middle and just get more zone percentage especially if they've got some type of healer synergy in the middle so if i were you definitely just prioritize on the middle a lot more of course you don't want to really get spawn traps so that's why you always send one person down the lane uh, but prioritizing two people in the middle is definitely the call in ring of fire so some other good options as well uh, the likes of Leon are uh, absolutely broken on this map, especially if you li just literally get that like, one super and you're able just to completely wreak havoc in their spawn, chaining supers over and over again. If you play a good Leon, you can just literally 1v3 on this map. It's insane. Uh, the likes of Stu with a speed turret can be really strong for your mid. Uh, Spike can be really strong, especially against the likes of Bell and other single shot brawlers. He's an amazing counter uh, to those brawlers on this map. And then the likes of Pam can be really strong with a bar and synergy. I've seen it a lot in Power League. And it can be really hard to actually come back against the Pam that has those constant Byron heals behind her. And then the likes of Tara as well. It's actually a bit of a surprising pick, but I've seen this a lot, especially in the Asia region. Uh, they're using the likes of Byron and Tara. So Tara will just push down the right hand side, use like all of her gadgets straight away, and just push up into the enemy spawn. It's really hard to pinch out a Byron and a Tara. But you also got the likes of Rico and Crow as well. Uh, but that's going to be set number four. Let's hop into set number five. All right, guys. So moving into the fifth and final set, we have Gem Grab a double swoosh so really liking a double swoosh right now in this meta so as you see on the screen the best combination is going to be that grom in the middle again with that uh, gadget it's just able just literally to scout a lane automatically which is so so strong and just his ability to throw over the walls in mid as well it's just completely broken so yeah grom going to be the best mid there are a few other alternatives you can go you can go the likes of obviously gene in the middle if you're not comfortable on the grom and then also there's a few other picks that you can go in the middle i really like the stew uh, with the speed gadget in the middle a lot of pros are going stu mid on this map and it's really really strong of course it's a little bit of an off meta pick in terms of what people normally go on this map uh, but if you guys are confident on a stu it's a really good option in the middle but uh, other lane brawlers as well there's a ton of options that you can go i went with amber as the first best pick uh, just because her uh, her super actually burns the grass so that's going to counter a lot of speed brawlers on this map uh, so down the right hand side amber's going to be really really strong one of the strongest options in the power league uh draft format at the moment and then spike down the left with kerbal just gonna be really strong against a bunch of different things other good options tara always good on double swoosh especially with his speed gear and the pets it's just really hard to get uh, a dominant tara out of that bush and then the likes of crow crow can be really good at scouting really good uh, with his slows and then especially with his jump being able to jump on the gem carrier a lot of the time he's just going to cause so much pressure pam down the right hand side going to be really really strong a good pam can easily like 1v2 especially with her turret behind the wall as well 
Rose are going to be really strong uh, with a gas graduate, especially with his speed connecting all the grass. It's just going to enable her and other brawlers with that speed gear just to dominate even more. Uh, other brawlers as well, barring a decent mid. Uh, Sandy, of course, going to be really good on double swoosh. And then uh, other off meta picks, Leon and Bell. So, yeah, double swoosh uh, for me. Just don't let the enemies peek into the grass. Uh, just make sure you're holding that control down by left hand side at least. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be set number five. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. So, really excited about uh, the championship challenge. It basically kickstarts the Brawl Stars championship for this season. Uh, so, like, uh, literally a week later, it will be qualifiers already. So, really, really exciting. So, let me know how you got on in the comment section below after you've done this challenge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.